algo rara? Se portó como Elsa. Escucho esta voz. ¿Una voz? ¿Qué significa? Yes. Okay. Hi, Paraguay. Paraguay, how are you? I was impressed for all the details that this movie have this this time when you show us the picture of your daughters yeah. with the with the actual movie. My heart was like beating. Aww. It was so cute. <laughs> Actually, none of my scenes I can say anything about because it would be spoilers. <laughs> But um, we do know that as animators, a lot of our team, if not most of them, actually do shoot reference of themselves or others or family or um, or anyone in in life, and they put them into their uh, into their work. And what it does is, it's not to um, it's not to copy the reference. It's to those little truths in there to really bring the characters to life. Yeah, I mean, when, they, when, when people act out their scene, they're, they're stepping into the shoes of, uh, of a different character and they're trying to become that character. So they're not aware of these little things that they might be doing because they're not trying to do them. It's just kind of coming out. And those are the little bits of information that Becky's talking about. Mm -hmm. they, they pick up on and they add those little things into their animation. It's so beautiful the way that you put all your personal things into the these characters, these scenes. Elsa is like empowering herself mm -hmm. as a woman and you talk about that. For this movie, she um, she's grown up a little bit, three years later. She's more comfortable with herself because, you know, it's she has her family surrounding her. And I think, I think a lot of times power comes from knowing the things around you and being comfortable with yourself um, and that and um, your surrounding. Yeah, tell me about the wind. The wind character? The wind character. Oh, the wind character was a, a it was a huge challenge. Um, it was one of those characters that we had to collaborate a lot on with many different departments. Um, and so, you know, usually it's up to, animation brings a lot of the, um, the acting or the performance and then everything else just kind of gets added to it. But this was more of a collaborative thing where Gail couldn't exist without the help of Tech Anim, our other department, or um, without effects, or without lighting, and all, you know, environments. All these things play a part in just creating every shot for the movie that Gail is in. So it was very like collaborative in the way that everybody sort of had to hold hands and pick the point where this department leaves off and this department starts until these moments are created. So it was it was a lot of fun because we always collaborate, but. The level of collaboration on that character specifically went like it was way beyond anything we'd ever done. This, this is your art, and this is a teamwork. So how was that? <laughs> so for I know. you, it's like releasing your <laughs> children out into the world. Yes. So. Yeah. So tell me about that. Yeah. Like how you feel? Well, it's funny. You you have a very intense time with everybody for. Well, for us, we've been on for quite a while, yeah. but the team comes on, and it's very intense, and you're working hard and working hard, and. Um, And then all of a sudden it stops and you realize, whoa, wait a minute, I want to, I want to do one more, just one more scene, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping for a Frozen yeah. 3. Yes, <laughs> cross <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Salvo.